Hey everyone, this is Corey at Aquarium Co-op again. Today we're going to talk about just some Epistogrammas, um, which is a dwarf cichlid. There's tons of them. There's no way we can cover all of them. But I'll hit some that I have in the store here so you can see some of them talk about uh, general behavior. There are definitely ones that are going to break this behavior, that type of thing. But what we're looking at right here, these are called Orange Flash. And this is Epistogramma cockatoides. And there's different color variants here. I only have the orange one. They also come in super reds, and they also come in a wild type, and uh, stuff like that. So, but these are the orange flash. Uh, males have lots of color, females don't. Um, so if we can look in the back here, there's like that male, and behind that, underneath that male coming forward is a female. So, you know, bright orange fins, almost nothing. Right in the front here, most likely, this one right in the front could be a sneaker male, um, but it, it looks like a female right now, but it, it could. And then that one right there is a female also, with obviously this male right up here, checking out what we're doing. That's kind of the cool thing about, about cichlids, and these are dwarf cichlids, they only get about three inches, is that they do have tons of personality, and they've been very popular in the hobby for a long time. Sometimes they fall out of favor, um, now they're you know definitely making a comeback in the last five years or so. And uh, they're an egg layer, pretty easy to spawn uh, a decent amount of them. Some of them are very difficult. But uh, yeah, so we have Orange Flash here. I'm going to show you some Borelli, Pistogramma Borelli. And these are the blue form, so to speak. And so we've got a female right in front here, and we've got a male over here. And these guys end up getting really big dorsal fins. You can kind of see, I mean, they're still small now. Got some decent fins to them. Here's another guy coming to check us out because we're looking at them. It's kind of that personality. And then you see another one that sees that we're looking at them, so he came to investigate too. So that's kind of the cool thing about Epistos is they are aware that someone's looking in. You know, we're hanging out. They know it. Um, but in general, they're a, a community fish, provided you give them, you know, some floor space. So here they have a lot of floor space. They're living with tetras. That's a common thing. Tetras, pencil fish, anything that's gonna not take up the bottom too much with them because they want to spawn in a cave and they want to take over some territory. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can... I know I've got some more Epistos down the way here in the shop. I've got some Epistogramma trifasciatus. And they're going to be hidden in here. So we can see there's a female going towards the back of the sponge there. There's one coming up front here. My camera will focus. You know, these guys are still young, so not super duper colorful. You can see some more, you can see a male hiding out back there, but, you know, once again, they're coming to check us out, and that's that's a good thing. Instead of fish running away, they're coming to check us out, and that's what you get with that cichlid uh, mentality is they want to see what's going on, you know, they're going to interact with the owner. But yeah, so, Epistos, real popular. They're anywhere from, you know, on a good deal, you can find them for 10 bucks, all the way up to you know, hundreds of dollars if they're rare enough wild caught. You know, typically, uh, you know, my store, they're anywhere from, you know, 13 to 18 bucks, depending on variety. Uh, a lot of times people just buy them in a pair. Not a lot of people keep them in a colony. It is fun to keep them in a colony. I do recommend you try it sometime. Um, but yeah, so that's just a brief overview on Epistogrammas. Uh, if this was interesting to you, I recommend you Google it some more, you check it out, you come in and talk to us. But yeah, it's a good addition. Um, to at least a 20 gallon tank or larger. So until next time, talk to you later.